that, guys. Are you serious? Are you serious? Like, are you really serious right now? Yo. I wasn't gonna record anything today, guys, because, you know, I'd be busy on the weekends. I usually have a set schedule of stuff that I gotta do on the weekends. You know, my Sunday, I was obviously gonna put out a video on Sunday combining today's training camp practice and tomorrow's while addressing the injuries. But then, this whole thing, Golden Tate happened. Like, are you serious? Guys, we're down our number one, two, and the front runner for three wide receiver. Now, I know I'm a bit late in reporting Corey, Corey Coleman tore his ACL before training camp, apparently. There was a report saying before the practice, he came in with the ACL torn, something like that. I don't know. Whatever it is, he tore his ACL, and he's out for the entire season. Corey Coleman, a great wide receiver for the Giants, at least last year in the second half, and an amazing special teams player that sort of revamped our special teams last year, which was abysmal in the first half of the season gone when that happened i was like all right not too bad we have a deep wide receiver core man it's okay we still got slayton and we still got uh latimer that could duke it out for that third spot then slayton you know he has that hamstring thing Shermer says don't worry about it it's not too serious i'm like okay but he's still gonna be out for like a week or so then the injury i mentioned about shepherd when he left the field after the first ota day came back he went to get x-ray or whatever he fractured his thumb he's gonna be out till at least like week one or week two and in my opinion if he needs to miss a game let him miss a game i don't want a repeat of odell back in 2017 which was the last time some of this like this fiasco happened when our entire wide receiver core went down obviously we still got wide receivers there but the last big time was 2017 one of the main reasons was because we were trying to rush people back from injury you know, like Odell rushed back from injury and then just worsened himself in week five when he went down. So if Shepard needs to be out for week one, week two, let him be out for week one, week two. But until then, he's out for at least like, I don't know, like three to four weeks, maybe even more. So we're down to number one. We're down the front runner for number three. I'm like, okay. Like I said, that three spot, we still got Latimer and Slayton that could maybe, they could maybe do something there. Number one spot, we'll get Shepard for most of the season. We'll be fine. And plus, with Golden Tate out there, he's probably going to be doing some work. And then this thing comes out. Golden Tate suspended for four games for violating the NFL drug use conduct, or drug use uh, rules, or whatever it is. PEDs, basically, was found in his system. He failed a drug test. And he's out suspended for four games. That's the NFL uh, no tolerance rule. Four game suspension. And guys, four games is a lot more than you think. Especially four games to begin a season. Four games is a quarter of the season. And with him out, in addition to Shepard might be out for the first two weeks. And the wide receiver number three spot being in just like a disarray right now. Those four games could be four losses. Now, obviously, that is quite obviously the most pessimistic look on it. But it's not far from the realistic look. I'm not going to try and sugarcoat anything to y'all. Yeah, we still got Ingram and Saquon, but Ingram and Saquon, they can only do so much. You know? We saw it last year. I mean, Saquon carried his offense last year. He really did for most of the season. Five games was what we won. And that's like Ingram, he has injury concerns too. I mean, maybe he would re injure himself. I don't know. Like, like, you know, like, pray, you know, guys, <laughs> what can I say? Just pray that nothing else happens. Don't jinx anything else. But according to Tate, I I'm, I'll put his tweet up here. And I'm not even sure if I believe it. And Golden Tate is known to be a guy with high integrity, good morals, you know what I'm saying? A real stand up dude, a good example outside of the field you know what I'm saying in the locker room all that a good leader and yet I'm still skeptical when he said I'm gonna throw it up on the screen here but I'll just summarize it for y'all he basically says that him and his wife they went to a medical expert because they want to have another baby or something and you know something was wrong with him whatnot so they needed some type of fertility um, medicine 
would just so happen to have some drugs that are included on the NFL ban list. And according to him, when he found that out, he immediately stopped taking the treatment, let the NFL know. He said he went directly to the independent administrator of the NFL policy on performance enhancing substances, and he let Shermer, the other coaches, and Gettleman know. So, and this was back in April, so this, everybody's known this for a while. The NFL and the Giants have known this for a while. Now, my thing is, I kind of believe you because, you know, when there's football players, there's people out there where family is the most important thing. I think Tay is one of those guys. And, you know, when you're thinking about, you know, starting a family, you know, expanding your family and whatnot, that's the first thing on your mind, not football, you know, it's, it's a set of priorities and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But my thing is, why didn't you check the ingredients beforehand or why didn't you your medical expert let you know beforehand because I'm sure they would know that you're a player for the NFL and they definitely would have to know the ingredients of whatever you're taking and then you know cross-reference where you'd be like yo was any of this you know gonna cause any problems for you with the league and whatnot you know what I'm saying so like that's really the only reason I'm doubting this because the simple fix would have been before you start taking anything you know as a professional athlete that I like, assume that would be the first thing you do when you take any type of medicine be like yo is this gonna get me in trouble is there anything in here that i don't know about that would get me in trouble with the league you know i could mess up my team mess me up mess my teammates up all that you know that's that's really what's you know holding me back from believing his statement because like i said he has a good record behind him he's never done like any drugs he's never taken any peds he's never been a bad influence he's never done anything bad you know what I'm saying? He's never been in any type of negative light before. Like, Tate is known for being one of those guys of high integrity, high morals. That's why I'm just like, you can't be serious with this. Like, this was such a simple fix. If this is true, then this is just so stupid on Tate's part. We're paying you $9 million and you couldn't do the courtesy of checking the medicine you're taking to make sure you wouldn't mess the team up? Like, are you serious? We're down three receivers, guys. We had a deep wide receiver core and now it's really going to be tested. Right now, our top three receivers are uh, Latimer, Benny Fowler, Darius Slayton, and behind them we got Reggie White Jr. Apparently, they're bringing in Kevin Benjamin, Kelvin Benjamin. They were gonna bring him in before this went public anyway, and you know the, the Giants are just gonna have to go out in the free agency market and see who they could pick up to fill in these spots. Because I don't think the NFL is gonna let this slide. I think the suspension is gonna go through. I mean, it's a, it's a flimsy excuse at best like let's not forget the nfl forgets how to treat their players as human he beings and they treat them as just players so i don't expect them to have any sympathy for him i have a hard time finding sympathy for him because it's just such a stupid thing to happen like th this is terrible like i said four games is a lot more than you could think four games could really decide you know on a team like the giants the the point we're at in our rebuild it could really decide the season like if we lose all four of those games you could say goodbye to the season if we go you know 504 games i'll consider us lucky but um i mean that's about it we're really down three receivers with shepherd being the one that could come back the soonest i mean i really hope eli goes out there and just you know spams to ingram and saquon like oh jesus i don't know guys do you guys believe Tate? I mean, let me know what y'all think. This is this is just a terrible situation for the Giants, but what can we do? We just got to keep our heads up and walk through it all, you know what I'm saying? Stand tall. That's all we could do as Giants fans. I'm out, y'all.